I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about volumes by slicing. In problem number 29 we'd like to use the washer method to find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by y equals e to the x over 2, y equals e to the negative x over 2, x equals ln of 2 and x equals ln of 3 is revolved around the x-axis. So the first thing we should do here is let's just draw a picture and try to get a feel for what this thing looks like. So uh, let's draw my x and y axis up here. We've got y equals e to the x over 2. This is y equals e to the x over 2. We've got y equals e to the negative x over 2, which looks sort of like this. This is y equals e to the negative x over 2. We've got y equals ln of 2, which is if ln of 2 is right here. And we've got y equals ln of 3. I'm sorry, x equals ln of 2 and x equals ln of 3 right here. And so these are the four sides of my object. So I'll just shade in what I'm revolving. And then I want to take that thing and spin it around the x-axis. When I do, I get a shape that would look sort of like this. A little bigger back here. Then this goes up. This will go down. We've got a hole on this side. And then it kind of goes down. And we've got a hole this side. Okay, so you can see there's kind of a hole cut out of the middle of this shape. And why we call this the washer method is because every cut that I make on this object would give me a cross section that looked like a washer. In other words, a disc with a disc cut out of the middle. Uh, so you can see there's a little washer, one cross section. All right, so how are we going to find the volume of this thing? We use what's called the washer method, and how the washer method works is to find the volume, I'm going to integrate from A to B, where A is where I start chopping up washers, and B is where I stop chopping washers. So I start chopping my washers at ln of two, I stop chopping washers at ln of three. So I want to integrate this from ln of two to ln of three, of inside, if this were the disk method, I put pi r squared. But this is the washer method, so I want to put pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. So I want a pi in here for sure, and then I want the outer radius squared. And what do I mean by the outer radius? Well, if I'm sitting here on this washer, I have to go up here to get the big radius or the outer radius. Well, what function is that? Come back over here, that's this function. y equals e to the x over two. So this is e to the x over two, and I need to make sure to square it. Then I want to subtract uh, the inner radius squared or the little radius squared. Well, what function gives me that inner radius? That's e to the negative x over 2. So I have e to the negative x over 2 squared dx. All right, now let's work on this thing to get it into a form where we can take the antiderivative. So I'll rewrite this. I can pull the pi outside of the integral, and then I'll rewrite this as the integral from ln2 to ln3 of, if I have a power raised to a power, I multiply the powers. So this is just e to the x minus, multiply these powers, I get e to the minus x dx. Let's actually take the antiderivative. When I do, I get pi times the antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The antiderivative of negative e to the minus x would be plus e to the minus x. 
e to the minus x evaluated from ln of 2 to ln of 3. All right, let's plug some things in. I still have my pi, but if I plug in ln of 3, I get e to the ln of 3 plus e to the negative ln 3 minus, plug in ln of 2, and I got e to the ln of 2 plus e to the negative ln of 2. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. This is pi times e to the ln of 3 is just 3. e to the negative ln of 3, uh, well, we could take that minus and move it up as the exponent on the 3. So we have ln of 3 to the minus 1. In other words, e to the ln of a third, which is 1 third minus then we get e to the ln of 2, which is 2, and we get e to the negative ln of 2, which by the same trick is plus 1 half. Let's combine it all together. We get pi times 3 minus 2 is 1, and a third minus a half is negative 1 sixth. So our final answer here is pi times 5 6, so 5 over 6 pi. And that is uh, the answer for what is the volume of this shape in cubic units.